We end today with sports car racing as a two-time Le Mans champion takes on a new project. Star of Le Mans victories and worldwide GT championship successes, Porsche factory driver Earl Bamba also has team ownership on his impressive CV. With brother Will, he's now founded Team Hardpoint EPM to take on North America's IMSA Sports Car Championship. And it came together actually from the um, Porsche Cup Sprint Challenge. I used to do a little bit of coaching with Rob. Then my brother came over and started team managing last year with the Audi and then obviously he loves the brand Porsche so he decided to jump back. Yeah, then there was a chance to drive for him so that's sort of where it all came together. It's been a pretty busy start to 2021. While he and Rob Furriel pilot the 99 Porsche, Bamba has reunited IMSA's first all-female lineup in the sister car, the number 88. So new team, new car, new manufacturer, but Christina Beer and I are still together, so we've got the crew from 2019 back. Obviously 2020 was a bit of a bad one for me, breaking my legs and not racing last year, so really happy to join Porsche and Hardpoint EBM. It's going to be exciting. Me and Catherine have been co-drivers since uh, 2019 together with Bia. Um, who's here with us as the endurance driver and yeah I mean always had a good relationship with Porsche and we got an opportunity to work with them and just a really nice little synergy that we've created with all of it. Putting the full season in their number 88 911 GT3R, Leg and Nielsen compete in what is a highly competitive fast evolving GT Daytona class. American Racing has the place in Earl's heart just like it does in mine and in Catherine's. Um, we've all fallen in love with the IMSA WeatherTech Championship, we've fallen in love with all the tracks that we get to drive at, the format of the championship. So I think it's pretty epic that a guy like Earl is now racing in GTD with the new regulations coming out for next year. The depth of the field is really competitive and I think it's what we like and I think it's a great platform to build upon with the Pro GTD coming in 2022 as well. It's going to be an amazing platform so I'm really loving what we're doing over here right now. GTD is stacked this year like it's crazy you got Bamber and Fanthor and all these guys that came out of GTLM and honestly it's like the most competitive GT championship probably in the world it's daunting when you look at the entry list and you're like okay that car's really good that car's really good that car's really good there aren't any real amateur teams or anything anymore it's all serious teams driver combos and it's uh, yeah it's gonna be awesome the talented duo will have a serious job on their hands there is an important message to go with it. Catherine and I do hope to inspire young girls and create awareness and show that there is diversity in the sport and that there are just as good opportunities as women as there are for men in the IMSA Water Tech Championship. We hope that the girls team will take it to them, but it's just really, it's an important project. I always said that I wouldn't do it if it was a gimmick, so we've got to put the best drivers together and we've got to get results and so for me that's the thing is to showcase what we're capable of doing and I have so much fun and I love driving with them so why not, we just got to make it competitive. Bamba's experience racing Porsches at the highest level will give the team the best chance of success in the challenging environment of GT customer racing. Earl's awesome, Earl's uh, definitely far out there in a lot of respects but you can ask for a better teammate very helpful he knows this car better than anybody and yeah just a wealth of experience and especially coming from not having driven a Porsche so having that to fall back on not learning it all for yourself is, is really important 